A pagan is something that people often mock today because they don't define pagan correctly in any way. They like to play with the pagan, they like to insist the pagan may need some care, but the lie that your black women of the social work movement have been telling themselves is they have a right to abuse someone. The lie in you says, I'm going to string all my people by you and I'm going to piss all over you with lies and records of, yeah, we saw him and everything's not okay. The liar in you wants to play with him, the liar in you wants to screw him, and the liar in you wants to interfere with the man who claims to be pagan. Why is that? Because your version of God thinks they are above it all? Or your version is you are above it all? In America we have rights, and when our rights are taken away from us, when our rights are abated by police officers, when our rights are stolen from us by sheriff officers like the Indianapolis Marion County Jail that took my property back and never returned one motherfucking thing that belonged to me personally, including life insurance policies, bank cards, personal prayer cards, which I had a whole other pouch of, and all my fucking belt buckles from my late father's estate, along with two hats that belonged to my late son, I really am fucking angry. But they also kept a pair of blue jeans of mine that had angel wings down the back, and the bitch of Satan who did that will go to hell for that. No one had the right to take away the things that my God guided me to. No one had the right to tell you that I don't love the girl that I love. But here's the reality. She chose her life. She chose her path. And she chose against God's wishes in every way. In America we have rights, but there are rights of other people that we don't interfere with until it's the opportune moment to do so. And then we learn that they've been t abusing themselves. They've been selling themselves. They've been using themselves. And they've been choosing other people without ever considering God.